What can I say? We found a way to win. Uh, this is a week-to-week -week league. That's why it's the toughest conference in all of college football. Uh, proud of our players. We had a number of individuals step up and make critical plays at critical moments of the game. Uh, obviously, the big turnover at the end, uh, some big third down conversions offensively. But, uh, you know, we can't turn the football over. Uh, we turned the ball over three times, but really two. One was on a Hail Mary, but, you know, that's not in our uh, makeup. That's We've been pretty consistent all year long, but, you know, that's part of the growth and maturation process of a football team, learning how to win. Uh, it's a week-to-week -week season like I spoke about, and uh, just really proud of the resolve uh, and the fortitude of our players as we continue to move forward. That's any questions. Which what they do to you guys offensively after the first two drives to get you off first? Just they started a lot of movement up front, you know, bringing the nickel a lot, uh, and just being able to block movement. Uh, we were limited in some of the quarterback run packages, but you know, I'm never going to apologize for winning. You know, this is a hard-fought game, and we're playing a good football team. And I give South Carolina all the credit in the world. They're on scholarship. They're going to have success. We're still building. I'm proud of our players. I'm proud of our program. But we need to start being positive around here because we got kids that are giving it their all every single day. And I'm not picking on you. Uh, I've just been waiting for everything. These kids are giving everything that they have. We got kids battling that I don't talk about with injuries that are giving everything that they have. Our offensive line was gritty today. We, they kept going down and down and down, and they want to go back in. And it's my job to protect these young men and protect our program. We're building something special here, and I think we all need to realize that. And I love y'all. I love Tennessee, but I want positivity because recruits want to be here. Everybody wants to be here, and we're going to build something special. So, yes, you can ask something that may... Uh, <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, Coach, how about Derek Barnett? You talked about people stepping up. That kid's a man, isn't he? Eight tackles tonight. He is. Uh, again, he's another individual who's playing with an ankle. He's playing with a knee. He's playing with everything. And this kid just gives you everything that he has every day. We haven't even been able to practice in full pads throughout the course of a week because our kids – you know, are fighting through all those things. And that's why I'm proud of them. It was a great win. And they're all going to be like this down the stretch. And we're still not where we need to be from a depth standpoint, but we're getting a lot out of these kids, and uh, I'm proud of them. What's that last play by Malik? Just what did you see? And, and I guess for him, what did that play mean? Well, it meant, it, it meant a lot. And he found a way to come up and really make a, a, a game-winning uh, turnover, create one. And then the pursuit to the ball and uh, – you know, again, I, I think we've relied heavily on our on our experiences early on in the season, uh, and uh, you know, our kids never have lost their their boys, uh, or they never looked back and said what ifs. You know, they're playing with a lot of confidence, um, and that was great to see Malik make that play, and then us obviously recover the, the fumble. Joe, this probably falls into one of the things you're not, you don't want to talk about, but you said you're limited some of your quarterback run packages. Is, is Dobbs a little banged up, or can you elaborate? You know, just some things that they do to take it away. Uh, and he, he has been banged up, you know, and he's been a warrior. And he's, you know, he grinds through it. And, you know, so it's a combination of a lot of things. And, you know, good teams find ways to win when they don't play particularly their best football. And we didn't play our best football tonight. So I agree with you um, with everything you're saying. I love you. Uh, all that stuff. But also... Like I said, the, the good teams find ways to win games when they don't play their best football, and I thought we were able to do that tonight. Oh, up on that, Butch. How, how much did you need to see your team win a game like this, especially with some of the other games this season as a backlog? That's exactly right. You know, part of the evolution of a football team and a football program, too, is finding a way to win the football game when, when you know your, your players and everyone knows they didn't play their best. And I give South Carolina a lot of credit. We knew they were coming in here. We knew we were going to get their best effort. Uh, Coach Elliott has done a tremendous job of keeping that program together. Uh, we knew that they were going to play their best. But, again, <laughs> in a week-to-week -week season, to be able to find a way to win uh, like this 
is very, very gratifying. Now we need to get the problems corrected, which we will, but uh, I'm just happy for the players because the resiliency showed. Coach, you just said you have to get the problems corrected. What were the problems on defense that you know, they dominated in the first half and then it just something seemed to click for South Carolina in the second half? I think they stayed ahead of the chains. You know, they were able to, to run the ball effectively, which, you know, we take great pride in our run defense. And they established the run. So we weren't ahead of the sticks. We were really behind the sticks with the third and one, third and twos, third and threes, third and fours. So I think the first down, we, we, we made way too many mistakes in the second half offensively, particularly on first down. We had way too many negative yardage plays. And any time you have first and 15, second and 12, second and 14, that really puts your offense behind. So both sides of the ball, we have to do a much better job, particularly on early downs and mixed downs. South but you, Carolina you did convert several third longs, well, particularly the touchdown drive and the field goal drive. What was the key to, to being able to convert so many third and seven, eight times? Then? Protecting the passer. And then I thought Josh did a couple times of escaping the pocket in setting his feet. You know, the big third down conversion to Jonathan Johnson uh, was big. They were in cover two, and we were able to match him up on a safety. Uh, so that was big. Uh, but then, you know, we have to go down and we got to score seven. Uh, the other thing, you know, is, is the red zones. Um, you know, I thought Aaron Medley, again, uh, continues to improve. The, the, the 40 yard, 44 yard field goal uh, was big for us. But um, I think it was Josh setting his feet. Offensive line protection, we were able to get open, and then sometimes him escaping the pocket and setting his feet. I believe he was nine out of 11 in throwing the football on third down. So, so a few more, early. please. Obviously, you drew the assignment on Farrell Cooper a lot tonight. You managed to keep them in four catches. Just what did Malik do well in that situation? How important was he that threat from a game like that? Just cover? Well, they do, they do such a great job because they move him around and they create one-on-one -on -one matchups with him, and obviously we know he's a great football player. But I thought Malik really stepped up tonight. Everyone stepped up. Uh, and I just think, you know, being disciplined, playing with your eyes, uh, being locked in, video study, uh, all those things that we've really challenged them to elevate their game, take their game to the next level, continue to invest in it in your week of preparation, and uh, they've been doing that. What did you see? Did affect your secondary when, when Randolph got, was ejected for targeting? Well, it's, it's hard because we already had Emmanuel out, uh, and we all know we don't we don't have a lot of depth at that particular position. So, you know, a lot of those individuals also play on special teams. So, where that starts to hurt you a little bit too is special teams. Uh, but again, I, I give the kids credit; they stepped up, and you know, we're we're hanging on by a Band-Aid at some spots, but that's football, that's November, that's this time of year. And, uh, but it does, it, that, that hurt us a little bit, obviously. And he's the, he's the captain back there, he's the general. He gets us lined up, so any time you take Brian out of the back end of your safety, communication is at a premium. So, Chelsea, take one more of the way the fourth quarter was in your defense. I mean, things have gone so bad in the third quarter, and sometimes right. when you see a little bit of it, it's hard to get it back. But they come out and they get three stops in South Carolina's first three possessions. Just you know, what did that say about those guys? Well, it, it says a lot. And there's a number of times, you know, where a team that, that isn't learning how to win, you give up a big play, you give up a touchdown. And when we needed a stop, they answered the call. And, you know, we always talk about playing complimentary football, and that's not just a fancy term. That means so much uh, with being able to, to play complimentary football. But, again, we have to get the, the, the run defense short up. we got to be able to stop the run. Uh, but, again, we, we made plays when we needed to down the stretch. Which did you expect South Carolina to this run is that many times? I think they rushed 40 times. Tonight. Yeah. You know, we expected that it would be a grinded out game. Uh, we anticipated that, you know, and it's, it's a line of scrimmage league. Uh, you know, Owen Williams stepped up and made some big, big plays for us at critical moments. We needed that, that was big. I thought Kendall Vickers did some good things from the interior as well, and I know a little bit more uh, when we get together on Monday, and I'll be able to fill you in more on, you know, after watching the video. But uh, I thought it was a gritty performance, and, uh, didn't play our best and found a way to win, which is great to see. Thank Good you. Uh, we have Alvin Kamara and Jalen Reeves-Maven right here.